here's an enlarged trachea uh, and larynx model. So first the feature that we can talk about is the thyroid cartilage, which is going to come all the way from this lateral side around to the laryngeal prominence and then back to the other side. So all of that is thyroid cartilage. Um, we can see some muscles like the thyrohyoid muscle, which is going from thyroid cartilage up to the hyoid bone here. Just inferior to thyroid cartilage is cricoid cartilage. And cricoid is the only one that makes a complete ring around the back of the larynx. So cricoid is here and all the way up to here. Below the cricoid cartilage are tracheal cartilages, which don't make a complete ring. So they're C-shaped rings, and there's a tracheal membrane and trachealis muscle that'll be filled in back there. But each of the tracheal cartilages is hyaline cartilage that protects the front of the trachea. And then posteriorly, sitting above the cricoid cartilage are arytenoid cartilages, it's kind of big tooth-shaped pieces, and then sitting on top of arytenoid is corniculate cartilage. There. Up here is epiglottis, and down here are the vocal folds, or the true vocal cords, so as these strings get pulled you can see movement of the true vocal cords.